In the heart of a bustling town, nestled among towering trees and whispering winds, lived Timmy and Tessa, two siblings bound by an insatiable curiosity and an unbreakable bond. Timmy, with his wild mop of hair, always sported his favorite dinosaur t-shirt and carried a backpack filled to the brim with gadgets of every kind. Tessa, his adventurous sister, wore her hair in two playful pigtails and was never seen without her trusty sketch pad, her fingers itching to capture the world in her drawings. One rainy afternoon, as thunder rumbled and lightning danced across the sky, Timmy and Tessa discovered something extraordinary in their attic. Hidden beneath a dusty old cloth was Professor Whiskers, a wise talking cat adorned with a monocle and a bow tie. He was perched atop a trunk that hummed with magic, his paws resting on a golden pocket watch that shimmered with a light of its own. Ah, I've been expecting you, Professor Whiskers purred, his voice smooth as silk. You see, this pocket watch is no ordinary timepiece. It's a key to adventures untold, a gateway through the corridors of time itself. Are you brave enough to journey with me? Timmy's eyes sparkled with excitement, while Tessa clutched her sketch pad closer, a smile creeping onto her face. We're ready, they exclaimed in unison, their hearts beating in anticipation of the unknown. With a flick of his tail, Professor Whiskers opened the pocket watch and a swirl of colors enveloped them. The attic faded away, replaced by the lush greenery of a prehistoric jungle. Dinosaurs roamed freely, their roars echoing through the air. Timmy's jaw dropped in awe, his dinosaur t-shirt suddenly feeling more appropriate than ever. Welcome to the age of dinosaurs, Professor Whiskers announced, adjusting his monocle. Remember, we're just observers. Interfering with the past can have unpredictable consequences. As they explored, Tessa sketched furiously, her pencil flying across the pages to capture the towering brontosauruses and the fierce T-Rexes. Timmy marveled at the gadgets in his backpack, finding a pair of binoculars that let him see the creatures up close without getting too near. Suddenly, a small dinosaur, curious and unafraid, approached them. It was a baby Triceratops, lost and calling for its mother. Timmy and Tessa looked at each other, knowing they had to help. With gentle gestures and soothing words, they guided the baby back to its mother, who greeted them with a grateful nuzzle. You see, Professor Whiskers said, his eyes twinkling, even in the vast tapestry of time, kindness finds its place. Now, let's return home. Remember, our adventure was but a dream to those we visited. With another flick of the pocket watch, they were back in their attic, the sounds of the prehistoric jungle replaced by the gentle pitter-patter of rain against the window. The magical trunk was closed once more, and Professor Whiskers looked at them with pride. Your courage and compassion today have shown me that you're ready for more adventures. But for now, it's time to rest, he said, his voice carrying the warmth of a fond farewell. Dream of the wonders you've seen, and the wonders yet to come. As Timmy and Tessa climbed into their beds, their minds danced with images of dinosaurs and magical pocket watches. They fell asleep to the comforting rhythm of the rain, knowing that in their dreams, they would always be adventurers. And somewhere, in the silence of the night, Professor Whiskers smiled, his watch ticking softly, as if counting down to their next grand adventure.